the focal point in the last 24 hours has become uh, this uh, town that's just outside of the capital uh, where we saw those horrible pictures of uh, a mother, a father, and their two children killed while trying to evacuate on uh, Sunday. France 24 senior correspondent Cyril Payen is uh, in Irpin. Uh, Cyril, what's the latest where you are? Well, we actually spent a uh, half day with George Yazbek in Erpin, which is uh, really much now the front line to go for the uh, besieging of, uh, of Kiev. This is extremely clear in the, uh, the Russian military strategy. It was uh, uh, amazing that we have, we have experienced uh, an increase of uh, artillery shelling, mortar shelling and bombardments. Okay. Nearly every two minutes we could hear some bombardments. And now we are back in uh, central Kiev and we can hear, despite the fact that the curfew is going to be implemented very soon and the the boulevard in central Kiev are totally empty from anyone because everybody went back home. Uh, that we can hear some explosions uh, still uh, going on in this region in the northwest of Kiev. So it looks like very much, and this is what the people think and believe here, that the Russians are intensifying the offensive to cut the north and northwest uh, access to the to the city. We have experienced and seen some very sad and tragic scenes of families trying desperately to escape from Irpin area, which is a very residential area, people carrying their grandfather, their grandmother, some uh, very terrible scenes to, to witness, even taking their pets with them. And uh, it was really, very really much these people going, escaping the, 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 the in, in, intensifying violence to go to the unknown somewhere else, maybe in Ukraine or in other countries, but living uh, probably for a long time uh, their houses and life in Irpin. So this is what is going on here. We can see also shelling on civilians. We have been experiencing that all day in this area. So there is a clear st strategy of pushing forward from the Russians. So now it's no, uh, it is no, uh, no, no, no secret that everybody knows that they're going to be a siege of, of Kiev. It's a matter of time, probably a matter of days, because now they will be only the southern part of Kiev where we're standing this way uh, to uh, enter and exit uh, uh, Kiev. So everybody now is just preparing. We have seen uh, military convoys in, the, in central Kiev, which is quite new here, uh, all the day and tonight. So it looks like very much everybody here is preparing to defend the city and preparing also for long, long siege uh, of the, the Ukrainian capital. And how are they organizing themselves? Well, this is also which is extremely amazing. We have been uh, crossing this country uh, for the past days from the Polish border. We had a journey of 700 kilometers uh, from the border in the west to here, central uh, Kiev. And uh, the, the momentum, the sense of mobilization from the local people is absolutely amazing. You don't see much women now in Kiev. This is all about the male uh, fathers, uh, uh, brothers, uh, sons, We've decided and to stay behind and so you can see checkpoints at every corner of the street people preparing the defense uh, trying to organize or to build bunkers and they are trained they are uh, helped by the, the the military which is also extremely present now in the capital and at all the entrances uh, the, the gates of the city Heavy, heavy checkpoints where now you are really double checked about who you are, what is your identity. So it's really a change of mood. It's becoming extremely tense, and especially when everybody is checking the, the, the social networks uh, uh, to see what are the latest uh, news from Mariupol, from uh, Kharkiv, on our Irpin, uh, when we, we sense that the offensive is going on and you, everybody here uh, basically has to prepare for war. You said at the outset, Cyril, how uh, we're just ahead of the curfew now where you are in the capital. Uh, it's day 12. Uh, are people getting any sleep? 
Well, it's uh, the same for, this is life in Kiev, this is the same for us. Uh, there is sirens all night for bombardment Alliance. We can't, we, I know, I'm not sure you could hear, but there are some explosions <coughs> up north uh, to Irpin, which is less than 20 kilometers away from where we're standing in central Kiev. So no, you don't sleep very much in Kiev these days because uh, everybody's on alert. Most of the people who are staying there, if they are not outside on the barricades or checkpoints, standing guards are just trying to sleep in bunkers or in places, shelters, and this is the same for everybody, especially also uh, for, for, for us in, in Kyiv. So everybody is going to prepare for a long night again, and also these rumors of uh, an imminent assault from the, the Russian army, which is now just uh, not proven, but just rumors, uh, doesn't make it easy for everybody here. Cyril Payen reporting live uh, from uh, the capital, Kyiv. Many thanks uh, for that update.